USC with the top time coming in. Tim Dwight, his other life. 45-50, Tim Dwight. Yes! It's a yes! Race. It's yes! Tim Dwight, 20, 10, 5, touchdown. Oh, wow. 94 yards, wow. Tim Dwight. He is a kick returner for the Atlanta Falcons, a fourth-round draft choice. He had eligibility left at the University of Iowa. He has come back, and he will run the second leg. Arizona State in lane one, Georgia Tech in two. Baylor runs in three, UCLA in four, then Auburn, Clemson, Iowa, and Southern Cal in lane eight. That. Charles Lee leads off for Southern Cal, running in the outside. Michael Granville for UCLA. Burton USC comes in here with the best time in the nation, and they won the Pac-10 Conference 4x400 with a really gutty anchor leg by Jerome. Davis. However, UCLA was in that race all the way, and they've got tremendous tradition there. Their coach, John Smith, who has had a little bit of success with some uh, open athletes like Maurice Green and Otto Bolden and John Drummond and a few others, uh, certainly has had a lot of influence on this UCLA 4x4 team. Charles Allen of Clemson running in lane six. And on the outside, it's Charles Lee of Southern Cal. Charles Lee running in lane eight for the Trojans. Iowa running second. Here's Tim Dwight. They stay in lanes that whole first turn. Tim Dwight, the kick returner, a little bit behind there for the Iowa Hawkeyes. And look, Baylor really shooting out to a lead right there. That's Bayano Kamani, their 400 intermediate hurdler, and UCLA's Terrence Williams right after him. We talk about tradition. Baylor has an incredible tradition in 400 meter running as you see Tim Dwight moving up for Iowa. Here's Kamani of Baylor. UCLA running second with Terrence Williams. Baylor has a bit of a tradition, Carol, as an, almost an understatement. Michael Johnson, of course, one of their great relay runners, but Clyde Hart at Baylor has had a draft of great 4x400 four teams as we now see Terrence Williams taking the lead for UCLA. And Southern California has fallen back. Disappointing for the Trojans, of course. Jerome Davis disappointed by his fourth place finish in the Open 400, will not have a chance to, to get their title in the 4x400 four as they expected, but now the race between Baylor and UCLA. This is Steven Bragner representing Baylor. Malachi Davis for UCLA. Chris John Smith, the coach, from the tradition of the UCLA 4x400 four teams in the late 60s all through the 70s, teaching these kids how to bide their time. Couldn't be a better position than to be following the Baylor Bears in the 4x400. Four Baylor and UCLA as we approach the anchor leg. And the anchor leg for Baylor is Brandon Kaus, a youngster, a sophomore, but an outstanding 400 meter runner and very experienced on the anchor leg. For UCLA, that is Brian Fell, a senior. Fell given a lead by Malachi Davis right at the handoff. And here comes Fell. And Fell was leading that Pac-10 4x400 and Jerome Davis very methodically caught up to Brian Fell. And John Smith told me up in Eugene, he says, watch for Brian Fell at the NCAA meet. If we're in contention, if we can get him a lead, he can hold off just about anybody. Brian Fell and Brandon Couts. Here comes Brandon Couts. He's trying to pass on the outside. And here comes Avard Moncour of Auburn. It's Fell, then Couts, and Moncour in the inside lane. Brian Fell of UCLA wins the race, but by that much. <laughs> and he lives up to his name. Brian <laughs> fell across the finish line. What a gutty race by all of the Bruins as John Smith, the coach of the UCLA Sprint Corps, congratulates Brian Fell, who has a cut lip from falling down. He's delirious. He's jumping up and down. He doesn't even know why he's moving after that leg. But you know what? He probably remembers at the Pac-10 championship having USC walk him down at the end and he said you know what i'm not going to have that happen to me today look at his face he is delirious what a fine leg by avard moncour of auburn and the baylor bears wind up third gutsy finish ucla wins it in a time of 302.12 auburn finishes second and the baylor bears third. UCLA picks up 10 teams.